everybody, Brian Harris here from Dayton, Ohio. It's March 5th, 2019, freezing cold temperatures. In fact, there's some snow blowing in from outside. I'm here in my garage. My hands are still frozen with gloves on. So it was like, I think one degree with the windshield factor today. So anyway, uh, I'm very excited to share with you my brand new rolling DJ booth that I just completed pretty much today. Put the final touches on it. And, uh, but I've been working on it for the last two weeks and first started in my basement where it was much warmer. And once it got to a certain size and, and, and weight, it needed to be brought upstairs. So it spent the weekend in the, in the living room. I finished working on it pretty much there, 90% uh, of it. And then I brought it out here into the garage uh, to finish things that just couldn't do inside. Um, I did just test it to make sure that it fits in my trailer height wise. It does now, but before it didn't. It was uh, actually a few inches too tall uh, because I didn't measure. So kids, make sure you measure your trailer before you build something to a certain height. It'll save a lot of headache. But uh, thankfully, it all worked out in the end. And uh, before I get started and pull this thing out and go through the whole thing, uh, I want to give a shout out and props to DJ Toad out of Cincinnati. This booth was absolutely inspired by uh, the, the Toadmatic booth that he builds and sells. He's got, he's got two sizes. I think it's like a 43 inch and a 55 inch. So if you're interested in something like that, talk to him. He makes them with the TVs on the front. So if you're doing you know, video DJing, if you want to show a, uh, uh, a bride and groom's uh, monogram or just some random video stuff or like a slideshow, uh, he's the guy to go to. I didn't need or want a TV on the front, so I decided to just go ahead and buy the materials and build it myself. So, shout out to DJ Toad, thanks for the inspiration, and uh, here we go. Let's pull this thing out and see what we got. All right, first of all, this is a Connie's cover that I had made to protect uh, for during transportation, for loaded and load out, so in case I bump into something, the actual booth itself does not get scuffed or scratched. Um, which is very important to me because you know you spend a lot of money building something you want to protect it um, It's worth an extra uh, 100 or 200 dollars for that cover to protect that You know a couple thousand dollar item that you've spent a lot of time building um, Connie makes covers for like guitar amps guitar cabinets, but this is the very first one she made for a rolling DJ booth So I'm proud to be her guinea pig and it turned out beautifully. It is uh, not too snug But not too loose it comes on comes off very easily um, but uh, I know you're, you're probably thinking, but Brian, this is a this is a, uh, a packing blanket. How great can it be for protection? Well, there are cheap packing blankets that are very thin, and there are higher quality packing blankets that are thicker, and that's what this one is. She did a fantastic job. So let's get into it. So you'll see on top here, I've got a uh, couple pieces of wood that is a protectant for the top. And all I need to do is unscrew these here. Notice I have notched out for that hole there. This is the little guy that I had too high, which would not fit in the trailer, so I had to knock it down. All right, so uh, first thing we got here this is just a, a little piece here to give it all four sides, so anything inside is protected. Nothing can you know bump it on the outside. That's just a something I will take off and put away somewhere else. And then we've got we've got two arms here. Wish I could just leave them on but just can't. Got to got to take them off. But I do have cables routed. So all I have to do is put my laptop on here, 
plug everything in. And same thing with over here. I've got, this is for my iPad. So I put my iPad on here. And really the only cable that I would need to, to plug in is if I um, was gonna run some music on it, which I do, it's, it's my backup piece. So just one cable to run into the laptop. Okay. So here we go. We've got uh, mic receivers right here. I've got a Mackie mixer with all my um, mics going into that. I've got three mics. I've got the two wireless and I've got a uh, Super 55. I'm going to plug up here in a second. And then I've got this running out and that goes under here is a, is a cable for like a videographer if he needs a direct line out. All right, so I've got uh, three different drawers. Oh, let's first talk about this. This is my power conditioner, my triple light power conditioner. Everything's plugged into that, okay? So inside here, I've got um, microphones, miscellaneous stuff. You know, you gotta, you gotta dust your stuff off every once in a while. Um, just miscellaneous items in there. And then here I've got my uh, power cables. And here is my stand for my Super 55. Just got a quick lock, quick release on it. And then, oh then, we do have a uh, have a uh, cup holder there. And then on this side, I've got all my extension cables for power. And I've got my Super 55. reason I made that cover is just just to keep it a little bit neater so that when people come up and make a request or talk to you you know you, everything is just hidden you know all they see is what you want them to see all right down here we have some storage area There's a couple sliding doors it becomes storage after you remove the Evolve 50 subwoofers One. And I found that it's just a little bit easier for to pull for one side and I'll show you why. Here's the other one. All right, so down here I've got on hooks my left and right out, main out to my speakers. And of course, my power. And so that I, I can keep these doors shut during the event and not have to run this out, out of the corner and have to stick it out of the corner. We've got a hole there. That way, I can run that all the way to the wall. I stand on an anti-fatigue mat, so I like to run my cables underneath the mat, not directly in the center where I'm actually stepping on it and feeling the bump, but right along the edge of the uh, mat. Now, you're probably wondering, well, why do you have two pieces of wood on top instead of just one? You're about to find out.
because I didn't want to try to find a place to uh, store these by having them in, in two pieces allows me to stick them inside. Gone. Out of sight, out of mind. I don't have to try to find a closet to put them in. The bags for my Evolve 50s can all fit in here as well. So everything can be housed right here during the event. I don't have to worry about trying to find a place to, to put it. Um, it's at the end of the event, I can just pull the stuff out and, and uh, tear everything down and I'm good to go. So there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below this video and I will answer them as soon as I can. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this very long video about my new rolling DJ booth. This is Brian Harris, Dayton, Ohio, Brian Harris Entertainment. Thanks.